Well, this Friday, March 15th, is World Sleep Day. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Well, study, studies show, though, that many people worldwide just aren't getting enough sleep. High quality sleep night after night is what we're talking about. That's right, right here. <laughs> and joining us now is Dr. Robert Carmen from U of L Health to discuss this very important issue. Doctor, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for helping us address World Sleep Day, which mm -hmm. is March 15th of this year. How important is a healthy sleep? Yeah. Uh, to, to make you feel great in the morning, also, mm -hmm. you know, getting some exercise as well. Yeah. And, and your, when it comes to your mental health. Yeah, very, very important. So we are just now beginning to understand and know kind of what sleep deficits do to us and how they steal away our performance and how they can make us gain weight and become hypertensive and mm -hmm. diabetic. We now know that not getting enough sleep is now a risk factor for dementia as well. Wow. So we really got to work on getting enough sleep, but your point's well taken. When you do sleep and you still get up feeling tired, maybe there's a problem. Maybe there's something else we need to know and, and, and assess. So getting enough sleep is the number one uh, deficit that we have from a culture perspective mm -hmm. currently. What kinds of things cause us not to sleep well enough? Yeah, so some of it can be medication, mm -hmm. some can be all of our bright light and electronics and our brain not wanting to shut down. Mm -hmm. And then many of us have something called insomnia where we can't get to sleep or can't stay asleep, which is in some ways a natural response to stress. Uh, but there are ways to kind of combat that so we get better sleep. Then there's primary sleep disorders like sleep apnea, sleep movement disorders, somebody else waking us up, uh, environmental noise, too much light. Insurance is so tricky today. I know people really turn to you all for help. So mm -hmm. how can the, your the health uh, sleep medicine program and sleep center actually help people to give us some ideas yeah. or really change their sleep yeah. habits. So, so we know that, that sleep health is crucial to cardiac health and brain health, mm -hmm. preventing strokes, dementia. So a lot of it's educational what we can do. So when it comes to people still getting enough sleep if they're having trouble or issues, we really want them to talk with their primary care, go through a screening program, go through some education. Sometimes we need to do some tests to figure out do they have a primary sleep disorder. Sometimes we have to look at their thyroid or change some medicine so sleep is better. Uh, so there's, there's a lot to it, but I would start with a primary care doc and a couple, couple questions. Mm -hmm. Good information about what a bad night's sleep can actually be doing to you over yeah. and over again. Yeah, right, so the key is to get enough sleep and have that routine schedule, kind of like you say. Even one night of not getting enough sleep is a risk factor for, for drowsy driving, mm -hmm. it decreases our immune system to make us more susceptible to infection, actually makes you have more cancers, harder recovery. So we need a solid seven uh, hours as an adult, and kids need about nine hours of sleep. Yeah. Okay, very good. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Carmen. For